Hi, I'm Heather Ackman. And I'm Bill Coulterman. And we're here to talk about our Office 2010 training package. The first in the package is the AXIS 2010 training, and that is the course that I teach. And that course is designed for someone who's using a database, not someone who's creating it from scratch. It's not geared for developers. It's geared towards those corporate users, who are someone who's sitting in an office, who's been handed a database that their company has created, and they've got to retrieve information from it. So a large part of this course is querying the database, how to create queries, how to write criteria to look for specific, specific information, or, and, and how to use built-in functions. All right, so I'm teaching Excel 2010, and Excel is one of my favorite programs. I really love Excel. I've been teaching it for many years. And a couple of new th and exciting things in Excel 2010 are the pivot table slicers and spark lines, and I'll teach you how to do both of those. But Excel 2010 is great. I geared the course towards people who use Excel every day and maybe are not doing things the most efficient way that they can. I give you a lot of tips and tricks, show you how to really make use of those formulas and pivot tables. I mean, if you don't know how to use pivot tables, you're spending a lot of extra time with Excel that you don't need to. Learn those pivot tables. They are my favorite, all right? Next in the series is the PowerPoint training, and this, this, this is a really interesting change to Office 2010. Uh, PowerPoint comes with a ton of new features, more so than I think any other previous release of PowerPoint. So a lot of this course is covering those new features and what you can do with them. There's a lot in terms of media and sound that you can now edit and fade um, between in between slides and even broadcasting your slideshow over the internet brand new feature it's covered in this course and a lot of the course is just showing you where those features are located and how to use them quickly and efficiently in inside your job the next course is mine and it's word 2010 and word just like i told you with excel word is one of those programs when you're new to computers, it's probably the very first program you start with, some kind of word processing. And people think, oh, I don't need to learn Word. I know how to use it. But let me tell you, there's a lot of stuff in here I'll bet you don't know how to do. And I'm going to show you. One of the great new features is the word navigation pane. If you've ever had to write a long paper, a research paper, some kind of thing, and you've had to create an outline or a table of contents, you probably struggled a lot with that. Word makes it really easy, so watch the course and you'll be able to figure that stuff out like that. And the last course in the package is the Outlook 2010 training, and this was kind of fun because we actually got to team teach this one together. Uh, mainly because with Outlook you're always communicating with to someone another else. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Outlook is a back and forth. I'll send you an email, you'll reply, I'll set up an invitation, you'll you know, maybe propose a new time. And that's exactly what we did to make it easier for you to understand both sides of that Outlook transaction. And in Outlook 2010, I had to fight for this feature to make it into the course. I teach you journaling. A lot of people don't think it's a worthwhile feature in Outlook. I love journaling. It's how I locate all of my files on my computer because you know, I don't remember what I name a file or where I've even you know put it in a folder. So journaling is something that I turn on to keep track of what Word documents I, I'm using that day or even PowerPoint slides. I have a lot of PowerPoint presentations being an instructor. So I use journaling just to find what file I was working on what day. And that is, I show you all how to do that in the Outlook course at the very end. So that's my favorite part of it. Well, but. and my favorite was the scheduling assistant. Whenever you've had to schedule a meeting and you're trying to, you got a large group of people and you're trying to find a time when everybody can meet and find a room where everybody can meet at the same time, it's pretty hard. But with Outlook, it makes it easy as long as everybody knows how to set those free busy options. The scheduling assistant will look through it and find the first available time when everybody can meet. And Especially great... if you've integrated that with uh, SharePoint 20, or Exchange 2010, I should say. Absolutely, absolutely. When we sat down to plan out our Office 2010 training, we, we kind of looked back over some of the feedback that we received from the previous uh, package, the Office 2007 training. And looking through that, we discovered that a lot of our users don't like to sit down and watch 
the entire training, you know, sit there for two hours watching a lesson, that they like to skip around. So in the design of this course, we've, we kind of created it so users don't have to watch everything. So each individual lesson stands alone. And you can, if you're working on your job in, let's say, Excel, and you want to figure out, hey, I'm using pivot tables. What's this web slicers tool here? You can jump immediately to that lesson and figure out how to use it without having to sift through all of the other stuff we talk about. Right. We've made it a lot easier for you to search for individual topics. Uh, if you just want a narrow focus or you, we all forget stuff. You know, it's maybe something you haven't done for a couple of months and you say, oh man, I know there's a way to do it. How do I do it? You can just search and find just that little clip, that little bit of information that you need. Yeah, because one of the weird things about any application is if you don't use it regularly, you definitely lose Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So having that resource, kind of like an encyclopedia to help you out whenever you need. It's like having your own support team right there with you yes. all the time. <laughs> All of these courses are available for purchase individually or as a complete set. As a complete set. And, you know, if you've installed Office, you have all of them anyway. You have Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. Why not buy all the training? Because, like I said, you don't know what you don't know. You probably find something new, something that's going to be like, wow, why didn't I know this years ago? Watch our courses. You'll, you'll, you'll get a lot out of it, I promise. And if you'd like to watch kind of like samples of our training, we have our own Train Signal Office YouTube channel YouTube, where yes. a lot of our clips from this course and other courses That's are right. included. That's right. We show in you there. some things about the brand new Internet Explorer 9, lots oh, yeah. of stuff, Windows Live, lots of great things to uh, supplement uh, this course.